welcome back this is yash from indian insight and in this video i am going to cover options chain analysis this here is what an options chain looks like an options chain is a list of all the available options contract for a particular security and particular expiry so for example this here is the options chain on indian nifty for 27 september 2018 expiry on the left side you see that there is a list of all the call options and on the right side there is the list of all the put options now let's briefly understand the various columns here first you have the open interest which is basically the total number of outstanding derivative contracts that hasn't been settled yet this number depends on traders interest in trading that particular contract each outstanding contract has one buyer who is long the contract and one seller who is short the contract this number here indicates the degree of activity in the contract higher this number higher the number of people interested in trading this contract now note that some options chain would show the number of outstanding contracts here some others like on this page here multiply the number of outstanding contract with the lot size and report this number here for analytical purposes this does not change anything basically higher your open interest on one contract higher the trading interest by participants for that particular strike price the second number here is the change in open interest when this number is negative it means that the open interest in the contract has decreased compared to the previous period when this number is positive it means that the open interest in the contract has increased compared to the previous period the next column here is volume which represents the number of contracts traded on a particular day so for example the number 241 here shows that a total of 241 contracts got traded today then you have the iv which is the implied volatility next you have the ltp which is the last traded price of the particular option then you have the net change which is the change of price of the option from the previous close then you have the bid quantity the bid price the ask price and the ask quantity Similarly you have the same columns for the put options for different strike price all these call options here which are highlighted are in the money call options which means the stock price is above the strike price of these call options on the other hand all these call options which are not highlighted are out of the money call options which means that the stock price is below the strike price of these calls Similarly all these put options here which are highlighted are in the money put options which means that the strike price is below the strike price of these put options Similarly all these put options which are not highlighted are out of the money put options which means that the stock price is above the strike price of these puts Now let's look at how can we use the options chain here for our analysis The first basic use of options chain analysis is to determine support and resistance levels. The basic idea is that the open interest at various strike price is a direct indicator of trading interest at that strike price. At each of these strike price a certain number of writers are short an option and a certain number of buyers are long the option. However, since option writers take risk of unlimited loss by selling an option they are likely to try and prevent the prices from crossing that strike price because if the prices cross the strike price where they have written the option then they will start losing money so for example if a lot of call writers are short the 11200 call like they are here then they are going to try and defend this level which means that this price level is going to act like a resistance zone 
Now you see here that a lot more call writers are short the 11,500 call compared to the number of contracts they are short around the 11,200 strike. So the 11,500 level is likely to be a stronger resistance level. Similarly, if you see here, a lot of put writers are short around the 11,100 strike. So this is likely to be a strong support. However, when you look at the 11,000 put, you will see that a greater number of put writers are short around the 11,000 level. So this is likely to be a stronger support compared to the 11,100 put. So the first use of options chain is to look at tentative support and resistance levels. The next important analysis you can do is to look at the change in open interest. The change in open interest will tell you if the option writer expects the support or resistance level to hold or not. This in turn also tells you about their expectation for the prices. For example, if you look here, you see that the open interest for 11,200 call has increased. This means the call writers are writing the call around this strike price of 11,200, which means that they probably expect the prices to go down. This view is further reinforced when you look at the change in open interest for the 11,100 put. You see that the open interest for the 11,100 put is decreasing. This means that the put writers for this put are closing their position which indicates to you that they are probably expecting the prices to go down. However, you also see that the put writing has increased around the 11,000 strike and also around the 10,000 and also around the 10,900 strike. So this tells you that although the writers expect the market to go down, they are not extremely bearish. So they probably only expect a slight fall in prices to say around 11,000 or 10,900 level. Now this is not the only analysis you can do with open interest. You can also get further information from looking at the change in open interest for the in the money options. This information can be used to figure out if there can be a panic buying or panic selling in the market. So for example, here are all the in the money put options. The put writers here are losing money because the current price of the market is below their strike price. What this should tell you is that the put writers are stuck here in a loss making position. So they would want to get out of these positions. This means any attempt by the market to go up would bring about an action from these put writers who are stuck in loss making positions and these put writers would probably try to square off their put positions. This ultimately means that any attempt by markets to go up would be met by some kind of a selling. You also see that the open interest for in the money puts option is pretty high for all these strike prices. And also when you look at the change in open interest for all these in the money puts, you realize that the put writers are trying to get out of their positions. What this also implies that if the prices keep going down, there may be tremendous panic among these put writers as their losses would keep increasing and the ones who hold out in the hope that the prices will come back again will also try to get out. So by analyzing the open interest and the change in open interest for in the money options, you can gauge a sense of whether you can expect some kind of a panic selling or panic buying in the market. In this particular example here, we could gauge that if there is a panic, it will probably be towards the downside. This is further reinforced by looking at the open interest and change in open interest of in the money call strikes shown here. If you compare the open interest of in the money calls with in the money puts, it should be clear to you that if the price is headed up, there won't be as many call writers who would be panicking because the open interest for in the money calls is lower compared to the open interest of in the money puts. So if you should expect any panic in the market, it should be towards the downside and not towards the upside. This kind of an analysis might help you in understanding the mood of option writers in the market. However, it will be wise for you to remember that just because option writers think that the market will go in a certain direction, it does not necessarily mean that the market will go there. This is because there is a continuous news flow to the market 
and you never know what kind of a news flow may affect the market and how it affects the positioning of these option writers. This is why it's best to use open interest analysis in conjunction with other trading techniques. That is you should use your analysis of open interest data as only one of the inputs for your trading. With this we have come to the end of this particular video on options chain analysis. If you like the video please remember to subscribe to the channel and press the like button. I thank you for watching the video and until next time goodbye.